the key thing which I would like to show this part is that instead of using uh, online, if we go here online, we were using the simulation mode to simulate the program. In this case, instead of simulation, we would like to transfer this data to some outside world instance, for example, visual component software. Okay, and we can see that the elevator is moving here in three dimensions. So if when we turn the simulation interface on, what it does that it actually closes all the other interfaces with the soft PLC to other things. Uh, in this case, what we have to do is here we can see what devices we have selected. We have Codex is soft motion uh, for Windows 64. Okay, so we need to have installed the right virtual PLC for this device which we have selected. By default, with standard Codex's installation, we get this one, which is actually Codex's control wind. And we cannot really use this one, virtual PLC, for this device. So where do we find this, the right device, or right virtual PLC for our device, which we have used here? There's a short document which I have written here. So this is the version, Codex version I've used for this example. This is the device, as you can see, we are using here in this example. And we need to install the Codex's virtual PLC, the soft motion, SL, or when we install it, it appears as this one. So don't get confused. I've provided the link here to this one. Let's go. This is the link. And when we go here, we can actually uh, make an account and sign this code as a soft motion as well and install the package. The paid version is 200. We can run the unpaid demo version for, I think, 90 or 120 minutes or something like that. And also, there is a very good documentation regarding this package. And when we go to the package, you can read a lot about what this does, what this supports, and what are the things you can test here. So as you can see, it's mentioned here, virtual drives. We are using virtual drives. I am not connected to any real physical drives, so please note this one. Just virtual assets and assets. And you can do actually a lot more with this one, which is mentioned here, like um, commissioning, I guess, also, which will uh, something like the CAM and drive configuration. So, okay. So let's go and check well, what the key things I wanted to say here is, when we install, for example, this install here, uh, uh, you go here, you download the package, and then you download uh, and install the package in the with the codices, and then you find everything. So when we go to the start menu, codices, codices control bin, we will find by by default these two comes with codices installation. But now we have installed this one, soft motion, Win 64, Windows 64. Uh, now we need to do some changes here because if by, by default it didn't work in my case, it would most probably be the same in your case also because it just uses 4840 port, the default uh, OPC UA port, and it uh, is occupied and it won't be able to connect uh, the interface for OPC UA server. We go here and we go open file location, and then we, in this location we find a config file, which is codes. Is, this is the normal one, and this is the special one for using soft motions in a virtual access. And we go here and open this with the editor, and we see a file location here. So let's copy this one. And I think I close this. Let's go here, and then we find the original file of the config file here. Let's open this again. And we have to go to the OPC UA settings section of this file. You can see the CMP OPC UA server settings. And by default, the network port is 4840 here. And by default, it is completed here. So it's not active. So usually, it even not means that when all this comes, means it uses all the default values. Like, for example, in this case, it's just task OPC priority, base, name, base. I don't really know what those are, but just using some default values. Like this is 17122. In the same case here, it's using the 4840, and we need to change it. I will change it to 441 and let's save it and you can close this one. Now it's going to work. Let's go see. I'll run this one. Code is control in and soft motion. Started to run. And you can see that it is using 4841 board. It's activated and somewhere it mentions that. Uh, yeah, activated, terminating in approximate 120 minutes. So our code virtual uh, PLC is running and we can go to the next step which is actually running the our PLC program connecting it with visual component software and seeing what's happening in 3D as well okay